Clark, Carol LeBeau, Stephen Clark, Jack White on location, Captain Mike's weather, Larry Sacknoff on sports, the team that stands for San Diego. This is 10 News at 5. Good evening. At 5 o'clock, 11 suspected pimps and prostitutes have already been arrested for working through a computerized call girl operation. Up to 40 women may have been working out of the North County operation. Tim Stores has the latest. San Diego County detectives say the call girls advertise their wares in North County newspapers like the Blade Citizen. In the personal section, they offer to relieve stress and tension using the European method or provide models and escorts anytime. They're contacting some of the clients of the operation and trying to uh, uh, obtain more information from them. One of the escort services is Heartbreakers. Deputies charge its 37-year-old owner, Eddie Stites, with pandering, pimping, and conspiracy. He operates his business out of his Oceanside house and admits that detectives did arrest one of the women he employed and charged her with prostitution. The girls I have uh, are all uh, nice girls. Uh, we did have one that I guess got into some trouble. But Stites says his business is legitimate. We have some girls who model lingerie, we have some girls who model swimwear, and uh, we also have uh, girls who just go out and spend time with clients, go out to dinner. Uh, you know, uh, people that come in from out of town that have business associates, they need somebody to accompany, we provide those type of girls too. Stites says deputies took his telephone, business records, and computer equipment when they raided his place. Deputies sent the computer gear to Los Angeles. Uh, it'll be up to the uh, FBI to determine what's actually on the disk and how it uh, falls in line with the rest of the operation. Of Deputies say they expect more arrests as the investigation continues. Stite says if the Sheriff's Department is looking for incriminating information, it won't find it on the computer tapes. All that he's recorded on them are old computer games. Tim Storrs, 10 News, Oceanside. What's her name? How did she die? There are more questions than answers tonight about a woman found dead in Balboa Park. The site of police investigating the crime scene along Highway 163 at the foot of Quint Street drew a lot of attention from curious commuters. And that slowed traffic to a snail's pace for hours this morning. We had a motorist that uh, stopped because of uh, car difficulty and he was walking to the call box here. Um, looked over in a culvert and found the uh, body of a female. Police say the woman wore an ankle bracelet and appeared to be in her 20s. There's no word as to how long she had been dead. And